Hey, welcome to the shortwave channel. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you, I put the uh, signal to noise um, indicator on the radio. And so here I am fairly away. Uh, if you look at the, the power lines over there, right behind the trees, so kind of, you know, you could see them here probably. And this is one of the places you could see uh, there through the trees. When I was underneath the uh, power lines, I turned on the radio, and the indication here went up to 30. So that was, and you could distinctly hear electric noise. It was, sounded like, you know, spark gap almost noise, like a buzzing. And as I move away, uh, it went down. So here you see that I'm at 3, 4, 3, 4. This is roughly the basic noise floor of Perry Island once you move away. And one of the things that I notice is that you move away, the noise actually rather quickly fades away. So uh, it seems like you don't have to be that far from power lines when they are well maintained uh, to have and enjoy low noise. Of course, if I had fancy big antennas, it could be a different game also. But already here, it's much quieter if I uh, punch in a frequency like uh, 15,000 kilohertz. To WV. You could see here how uh, how it comes in quite well, and it's easy to catch. So uh, it's it's interesting to to note because um, when I saw the power lines, I thought about our uh, little video and our talk about power lines and especially the high voltage ones. But you see that the noise dissipates quite fast so uh, that's pretty cool for that uh, uh, to see that and here we can enjoy pretty much low noise and and real DX even though you know the power lines might have you think that maybe you cannot have some good radio here you actually can if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching